Greetings, Mega Man fans, and welcome back to Let's Analyze Mega Man Dr. Wily's Final Attack. Yes, Let's Analyze. I figured that was a better name for it. In this episode, we're going to tackle Spearman's evidently Eastern-themed stronghold. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road! Oh, very zappy. Interesting. And the silhouettes? Hmm. Reminds me of Mega Man 10. Not that's a bad thing. I remember liking that game. And, huh, bit of a Yamada Man inspiration here. Stage kind of reminds me of his. No thanks to the theme music. Anyway, onward. We have bike rotors. Those are fast little things that will speed up and charge straight forwards. They, they can be annoying. And if they hit a wall, they will totally turn around. And then there's the Bamboomers. These things, well, they are annoying. They'll chew on their bamboo and they'll spit three arcing shots at you. And here we have, well, we had a lantern bomb. And another lantern bomb. <clears throat> As you can see, they work by falling on you when you pass beneath them. Interesting choice, that, to introduce it and then reinforce it before it becomes dangerous. And there is a Gong Magician. Contrary to what it may look like, it's not shielded. And it can only fire forwards, upwards, or downwards. <clears throat> On this little platform right here, we can totally snipe that lantern bomb. However, its proper purpose is a checkpoint spawn. It's that way that Gong Magician that was down here won't just murder you if you spawn up here. And Bike Rotor! Good thing we sniped that Lantern Bomb earlier. It would be a lot more dangerous otherwise. And Spears! Just what we'd expect in, in Spearman stage. Pointy spears that hurt you if they touch you. So, for obvious reasons, don't touch them, they won't hurt you. They're pretty self-explanatory. If you happen to drop off that ladder, well, try not to get skewered. Otherwise, this room isn't too difficult. This one, on the other hand... I hope you're a speedy one to get to this safe spot in time. Otherwise, that Gong Magician, or the one with the spears, is likely to hit you. This is... Definitely... Ow! Case in point, this room is probably one of, if not the, one of the trickiest rooms in this first half of the stage, which is the spear section. And then, a mid-boss, Katageki. It's a big dagger that will appear on the left or right, and then slash downwards, watching that little energy wave. The what appears patterned there, the truth is, is that Katageki is randomized on where it will spawn. So you can appear entirely on the right every time. Oh, the first appearance is always on the right. And I'm gonna get rid of that lantern bomb. And then, spear shooters. They stick to walls. They shoot spears that stick to walls when you land on them. English! I can speak it. <laughs> and, oh look, we appear to have gone full nightmare. Let's just get out of there real quick. You know what? I want that E-Tank. Therefore, I shall claim it. I shall make it mine. Tricky jumps here. I have died to them once. Incidentally, if you do die, that E-Tank will totally respawn for you. So this stage makes a good one to farm tank. Anyway, a bit of a trickier section here. And. Ah, uh, this part. Oh, wow, that was risky timing. Could have gotten skewered there. In fact, I should have, feels like. Ah, uh, wow, that was brazen. And these guys. They're pretty self explanatory. And here we have 
well, more difficult sections. Get spiky pretty much right away here. This room, I'll be honest, feels easier than the room just before it. Though, shooting spine is, as always, more of a threat than its not shooting cousins. And that was a, one of the trickiest bike riders in the level. PANDAS! I do, but I don't like those things. Because I find them really tricky to deal with. And then, Drago Spears. These guys kind of remind me of the... Of those, uh, oh, what were they called? Bezo enemies? From Super Mario Bros. 2. Uh, they, this part might take a bit. Apologies, it's a bit trickier than the rest of them. There we go. Much better. And with that silliness out of the way, we're at the boss door. Not a bad final room, in hindsight. Tricky, but not insultingly so. I like it when a game can achieve that kind of balance. And now, Spearman. He's a good example of the kind of boss fight we will come to expect from this game. And that he is, well, besides being able to hurt you, he's not perfectly predictable, but he's predictable enough to keep you on your toes without feeling cheap. As you've probably gathered by now, after every jump, he will dash, and he can totally jump and shoot. If he chooses to go for the three spear attack, the spear shot, which is his master weapon, he might choose to dash right away instead of doing a jump first. That's basically his fighting style in a nutshell. And as you can also see, he can jump and shoot. Jump and shoot, man! bad boss at all. I quite like it. Like I said, it keeps you on your toes, but it doesn't feel cheap in the process. As you can see, I handled him rather admirably besides... <laughs> besides... Besides one odd hit. So that... that wasn't bad. I quite enjoyed that fight. And with that, we get the master weapon. You got... Spear shot. And no demonstration. I'm guessing that's a programming thing. Well, if there's no demonstration for us, and I'll just have to make one myself. Here we are, and back in his level, spear shot equipped. And also demonstrating the quick weapon switch. Spear shot is it's a good buster replacement, actually. It's bigger, stronger, it's a fair amount of ammo, and you can aim it up and down. This makes the weapon pretty much better than the buster in every way. The only differences between it, well, the only weaknesses it has that the buster doesn't, rather, are a two-shot limit, Even if I try, I can't shoot three shots, unlike the Buster, and obviously, ammunition. But it has a lot of ammo, so expect it to last for a great deal of time. It's definitely a valid Buster replacement weapon. I would consider using it just instead of the Buster because it would just wreck so much more. But I insist using the buster, so don't expect to see spear shot again outside of any instances where I feel it necessary. Anyway, on that note, I think I've been at this for long enough. I hope you enjoyed this, and I shall see you next time when we get right into the thicket of things. Until then, goodbye! <laughs>